an empty chair left to represent their loss. It's now been four years since Anoushe messaged his family while on holiday to say he was going to the shops. He's been in one of Iran's most famous prisons ever since, convicted as an Israeli spy. It was completely shocking because neither of us have ever vis visited Israel. Um, we don't have any ties to Israel at all. The father of two has since endured solitary confinement, attempted hunger strikes to the death and made other suicide attempts in his cell at the notorious Evan prison. It is hellish. It is a hell. You know, they do deal with rats, with cockroaches, with, you know, vermin, bedbugs on a very routine daily basis. It's part of their lives. For Richard Ratcliffe, none of this is new ground. Despite having the support of Boris Johnson, his wife Nazanin's been trapped in Iran for five and a half years, with no lasting periods of time outside of jail. There'll be other people taken soon, and the government needs to make it completely clear that it's not acceptable to hold innocent people in this way. We are held as bargaining chips and fights between governments. That means it's, I mean, it's sometimes like, it's like a game of snakes and ladders. You're up and you're down. In a statement today, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab called Anoushe's detention wholly unjustified and said the government is doing all it can, while calling on the Iranian government to set a new course. Amnesty International are leading Anoushe's campaign. They say Boris Johnson isn't staying true to his word. I think it's shocking that Anoushe's family have been asking to meet the Prime Minister now for a year and he has not met them. And that says a lot to me about whether it's really true that the British government puts the priority on these cases that it says it does. For Anoushe's children, every day that passes that their father's life is on hold is one they are forced to live on without him in it. You look back on photos and memories and he's not in them and he's just not in the picture anymore. And uh, that is a really harrowing thought because you think how many more years are we going to live our lives without um, having our dad in it. For the family, just another question in a case that so far has no answers. Stephanie Prentice, 5 News.